another uh, an another good one. Another good one from uh, Betty Hutton. <laughs> That a group of soldiers. Knights? Soldier? Constabulary? What are we calling them now? Yeah. Soldiers from the Brotherhood of Steel were spotted in the Commonwealth. Sounds like they were, uh. Well, they were kind of in trouble at the Cambridge Police Station. They were in pretty bad shape for a while. The, uh, the Vault Dweller showed up and gave him a hand, or a gun, or some the vault dweller helped them, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Guess they'll probably be on their way soon then, right? <laughs> oh, we're gonna die! Oh! I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the... Orange Colored Sky by Nat King Cole. Best you love this one, right? To Look at this place. A real I classic. still say Malone's weak. Sure. We caught that detective Time. sneaking Time. around, and what does he do? Locks him up. He ain't got the balls to just. Ah! 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 Ah!
it when they open the door. Why is that thing so loud? I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the... What was that? Heads up. Over here. Heads up. Skeeter Davis, a name I still find confusing. Sponsor here in Diamond City, and I'll um. Hey. Hold position. Hey, come on.
that thing so loud. A fix is it. Leave it so soon. What <laughs> just stop to admire you. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway? Hey, <laughs> Nothing after all. Hmm. Nothing. Am I freaking seeing things? How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh, no. What the... Hey, you! I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Get this... Question is, why does he come all this way? This life and limb. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Mr. Beasley, as overseer of Vault 114, how would you Old have private a eye. between two of your vault residents? My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? 
Well, you came to the right man, not the right place. Yes, of course. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement on your way out. Malone stay here used to be small time. Unexpected bit of news. Muscled out of the old I heard that a group of soldiers... Is it nice? So they found this place. Soldiers? Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly about? around to charge yeah. rent. Soldiers... Empty vault. ...from Perfect. the Brotherhood of Steel were spotted in the Commonwealth. It sounds like they were, uh... Here's someone coming. Well, they were kind of in trouble at the How do you want to play this? They were in pretty bad shape for a while. Why does that take so but fucking long, huh? Hey, Dino! Quit the vault dweller should be able to get down here! We're done! Die on me! So the vault dweller helped them. Run! You walk Guess they'll probably be on their way soon, then. Right? Oh, we're gonna die! Heads up. Roy Brown did, well, he did two songs Hard about Butcher wild, Pete. Huh? Well, gets the job done. Bad for whoever cleans up the floors. This door's on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Nothing over here. Just be Say hello for good luck. You and Valentine are both. with the wrong crew! Huh? Where'd you go? More stairs? Who built this damn vault? A fitness instructor?
Loctite. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that... Can't pick you. this. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Only opens with a key. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Nikki, what are you doing? You're coming to my house? <laughs> Shoot up my guys? Lighter or heavier with all those holes in him. Well, the bullets probably add a few ounces. Good night, sweet prince. Here's to all the old days. Gonna be an awkward. Conversation with Darla's parents when I tell them their daughter bit the big. The case is closed. Let's get out of here. There's a service ladder that should take us right to the surface. That was the five stars. All, all five of them. <laughs> Get it? Because it's, uh, uh, it's funny? Nah, sort of? No. No, okay, not really. Coming to you from uh, the jewel green, I mean, the green, uh, I mean, the, uh, the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. It's Diamond City Radio. Frankie Carl wrote a song about tomorrow.
or at least I guess uh, his version of tomorrow, which is pretty different from mine. Ah, look at that Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Yeah, holding up. Look, I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. You might not be wearing the blue jumpsuit, but the Pip-Boy and that fish out of water look? Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. Oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, it's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. And people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? You can only take it one day at a time. Just keep going. That's all anyone can do. We're all just doing what we have to, huh? I think my readers can relate to that. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. Heads up. Hmm? Nat. Read the paper, mister. Trust me. It's big, loud, full of corrupt officials and brown-nosing citizens, but it's home. I ain't telling you how to pick your friends. The pipe is kind of a trouble. Alice? 
Sally? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa, one case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Ellie? Nick's not the type to turn someone away, but he's only one person. So sometimes things just pile up. Hey, Valentine. Take a seat. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. What else can you tell me? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. Of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is. Where they are, not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way? I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I... might have. I... Everything was foggy. Mm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. It's Sean. It has to be. Somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Look, maybe he has a son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. And uh, now, uh, a word or several from our sponsors. Stop in for a drink at the Dugout Inn. The stories are free, but the moonshine will cost you. Ask for Vadim Bobrov. Was I uh, the only one surprised that Skeeter Davis is, you know, a woman?
It's just, uh, I didn't really sound like a woman's name. Hey, who are you writing that poem for? Skeeter! I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Heard you rescued Valentine. Sure. Let's take a look. Here you Look alive. Point the way. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. This place is really starting to come together. I used to be quite the adventurer when I was younger. Now these old bones just can't keep up. Seems to be growing well.
Well, this place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. It'll make everyone feel more secure here. Hey. Hey, boy. You just heard... Uh, Come on, boy. Holiday. It's time to go. You... Coming to you from, uh... The jeweled green... I mean... The green... Uh, I mean, the, uh... The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. It's... Diamond City Radio! Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Don't think I can pick this. No luck? Guess we'll need to find No way key. I could pick this. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor. Come running. Do you ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Huh? Maybe shout a little less. Ah, oh, yes. I remember you. Our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well... Whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. 
even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but however horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. So that's it? You're not going to help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing, but I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. Hey there. Back about this key business, I assume. I'm sorry, but I cannot condone unlawful searches of people's property. I understand. You have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can bend them a bit. What? How dare you? I'm the mayor, for God's sake, not some thug for hire. I understand. You have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can bend them a bit. What? Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing. <clears throat> the mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. I've heard the sob stories before, so save them. Maybe we can reach an agreement? I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's gonna be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more... responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway.
Do all you outside of work such fun? Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Place seems small to you. I figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Gwinnett Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets. And cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff? See if he picks up on the trail. Before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. as you're carrying it. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. 